Thank you, Shraddha. We're going back to the Thrillist. Well, that's what I thought of. Oh, the phallic symbols. They don't spit, all right? Oh, really? Okay, let's behave. We can kind of keep it clean, okay? Oh, some technical He's never going to come back here, but I'll keep it clean. I hope you've got a design there. Anyway. I want to know how you go from ENT, ear, nose, throat, and surgeon, to write a novel. Thank you, Mandy. And uh, could you please read the Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, medicine and books. Uh, that goes back to my home. Uh, my dad was a medical doctor. And uh, I remember as, uh, before I went to school, I used to follow him when he did his rounds and leaving the hospital. <coughs> So the first smells that I remember in my life were hospital smells. There's got to be better smells than that. <laughs> they, they, um, those are the smells that are familiar and the sight of the, the, the war, casualty. My, my dog doctors used to wear white safaris there and white shoes. Oh boy. So even before I went to school, I knew that's what I was going to be. So I want to know, do you wear white safaris to work? I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> and white shoes? No, no. With a coat? <laughs> but then in the same home, you had this library of books, encyclopedia, etc., which we were forced to read. My father was, uh, he would have done well in any book. Um, he was very strict, he was a disciplinarian, so we were made to read. And early as a, as a young boy, I used to read encyclopedias. I, I remember Neil Armstrong landing in the moon, I must have been about eight or nine years old. Yeah, that's debatable. We were, made, <laughs> we were made to read, and I would tell the class what was happening. So, reading is the longest relationship. I always tell people that I have. It predates my medical career. It's a wonderful relationship. Can't you agree? No, no, I mean, exactly. I mean, I grew up uh, reading. Uh, my, my father was an English teacher. Uh, we discussed this a bit earlier. Uh, very sort of similar thing. I mean, he, I grew up listening to stories that he would tell me, um, you know, reading, reading books very young. And it's something that I've, you know, eventually led to me going into a journalism career and to, to write the book that I did. Um, so it's, it's been an integral part of my entire life for, for you know, um, close to 40 years now. So, yeah. So, I know you're a journalist, but how do you go from being a journalist to writing an in-depth book about rhinos and coaching? I mean, it's, I've read, I have to admit that I've only read about the first 50 or 60 pages. It's a very engaging read, and I would recommend it to everybody. But I think you need to be in the right kind of frame of mind. I mean, it must be been soul-destroying doing the kind of research. I think, I mean, um, two, two reasons. One is that I think I was a bit bored with uh, what I was doing. I was